Hi guys! Good day. So this is my fourth uh, webinar vlog. So if you can relate with the cases that I have uh, presented, please um, hit the bell button and please subscribe. So if you also have any questions, please comment down below. So in today's topic, we will be talking about Emacs porcelain crowns. There's a lot of questions and speculations. Let's say, for example, we have something in our mind. Na pag ka crown, it doesn't look like natural. That's why we always go for veneers. But I will show you in this video that this crown would look exactly as good and as natural looking like a veneer. Or like a natural too. So Let's do this. So this is a case of a 30-year-old male patient with a chief complaint of Dok, ang pangit na nangipin ko, this call. History of the teeth is uh, it experienced um, swelling, it experienced pain and discomfort and also sensitivity. So that's why uh, we have to do a lot of uh, clinical and radiographic assessment before we can touch the case. Upon reading of the radiographs, we found out that there's a problem on the periapical region of the lateral incisors and also with the adjacent teeth, which is the central incisors. So we check all those things and then we refer it to our endodontist. Tago natin sa pangalang Dr. Jan Amo. So he's one of the best in, uh, in, uh, in this department. That's why uh, he's our partner in doing all our uh, root canal treatment uh, cases. We just don't do everything. I just don't do everything. I, I ask a specialist to, you know, to uh, collab with me. Of course, it's for the patient. No? So that, that's really our thing in the clinic. With the radiolucency, it indicates that there's something wrong on that specific tooth, especially like infection or bone loss. That's why we are uh, doing a radiographic examination. It's really, really important in how we do our diagnosis. Okay, so let's proceed with the proper uh, discussion of the case. So I'm going to show you the image of the case. As you can see, there's an apparent discoloration of the lateral incisor here. Kahit sa malayo, nakikita. So, yun yung nagkakaroon ng problem with the patient. Mahihayain siya kasi it's because of that problem. Okay, number two, here's an old restoration. Ito, dito. Okay. It's already chipped. Tapos, uh, short. As well as the shade here is uh, yellowish. I want to create a gold shape na smile. Parang nakaganyan siya, smile line. It follows the lower lip line. Of course, the length of the lateral, two lateral, medyo the same. That's why it gives this case an inverted curve, which is not uh, good aesthetically. Sa case na to, we are only be doing the four units, no? Itong apat na to. Okay? As you can see, it is super discolored with the uh, Cavities, okay? There's cavity present on this area. Dito then. So, dito naman sa central incisors, there's a huge um, filling. It has been filled or restored a few times. Pero hindi siya nag naglalast, no? And also, on this uh, upper left na central incisors, there's a big um, filling as well. Kasi may cavity siya before. And on this left lateral tooth, nakatwist siya. So, as you can see, di ba, medyo pantay to. It's, it's not an indication of a good aesthetics. So, the golden proportion said that the upper central incisors must be a little bit longer compared to the lateral incisors. 
lingual area of the central and lateral incisors are also compromised. There's huge cavities here and a huge restoration as well. The facial assessment is very, very important in doing smile makeover. It's not just about having a nice sets of teeth, but also we make sure it's in harmony with the face of the patient. And also the, the shape should be in harmony with the skin tone as well. So here, as we can see, there is a negative exposure of the teeth during repose. Okay, this area na to. Dapat, there's a little bit of exposure for male. It has one to two millimeter exposure for female naman, three to four millimeters. He also uh, asked me if uh, he can brighten the smile. Because it's a little bit yellowish. I mean, sa lahat na ever si he smiles, medyo hindi siya happy. This time, because he wanted to have a nice set of teeth. But here's the challenge: uh, he doesn't want me to do all veneers, no. So we are only focusing on the four units. Did a little bit of um, gum contouring just to balance the gingival level, okay? And then I did a preparation here, pero hindi pa to tapos kasi it's been under endo treatment. So we have to make sure na okay na. The main concern that I have is to be able to remove all the cavities and the unsound structure. So we place the temporary here just to do a test drive. Okay, with the design. Pero it's ano pa rin yung pasyente. It's under uh, endodontic treatment pa rin. So it's a long procedure wherein we uh, want to ensure that the canal is already clean and the infection is gone or the place the final uh, preservation. The height or the length of the central incisors is a little bit longer than the laterals. And then we uh, were able to balance it with the patient's face. Much, much, much later. So it took almost a month for the endodontist to finish the case because it's really infected and we have to take time for this case. So after a month, we were able to do a try-in on the final porcelain crowns. So as you can see here, there's an enhanced shade of the porcelain uh, crowns. It's really natural looking because we have uh, been incorporate the incisal edge configuration like the general contour of the tooth, the interincisal angle, and the thickness of the restoration. It looks really natural, um, but there's a little bit of a problem. But wait, there's more. Like the shade here is a little bit brighter because that's really the patient's uh, request for me. So what we did is teeth whitening just to balance everything. So this is the final outcome after we place the four rounds and the teeth whitening as well. So as you can see, the nuances and the details of the, the porcelain is um, really good in relation to the natural teeth. So as you can see here, the design of the, the porcelain is in harmony with the patient's face. We were able to establish the height of the, the central incisors in accordance to the personality of the patient. And it's a little bit longer compared to the lateral uh, incisors and also the shade complements the skin tone of the patient as well. So as you can see, in the porcelain crowns, it it actually looks like a natural tooth, right? It, yeah. It blends well with the patient's face. Yeah. It actually not bulky. And yeah. It looks really natural. So that is the crowns that we're making in the clinic. And also, if you want to 
like um, para extend the life of the crowns, it can actually last more than a decade or more, or like two decades. It really depends on how you take care of it and the condition of the of the tooth inside. Okay, that's really important. That's why flossing, brushing your teeth, or any oral proper hygiene is very very important. Not just for the crowns, but also for for the natural teeth, no. And uh, the reason why we are asking you to visit your dentist every six months or a year, even if we take time to do our oral personal hygiene, it's really not enough because there's a lot of problems in between the gums or the teeth that needs to be done professionally. So visit your dentist. That is very very important. It's also essential to take x-ray um, during the examination because we want to make sure that the, the tooth and the root is in good condition, not just the, the crowns.